Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Miss Campbell and I am an educational consultant and a mentor teacher. Today, I will teach you seven things you need to do before an interview. These are very important, so please grab a pen and a paper to take notes. Let's begin. Number one, please make sure you print out multiple copies of your resume and also bring a portfolio of all of your professional work samples. Now, a portfolio is an optional optional thing to do and I'll explain why. But a resume is very important and you need to print multiple copies of your resume, at least five copies and place them in a folder to bring to you when you arrive at the interview. Make sure your resume does not have a picture of your face. I know you're beautiful, but no picture of your face and make sure your resume is very organized like this. If it is an acting or dance interview, then yeah, go ahead and have your face on the dance acting resume. If it's not, no face, nothing. Words and structured, organized. Now, if your job is a graphic design, teaching, or writing job, it's also best to bring your portfolio to show examples of your previous work. For teachers, a teacher portfolio can include lesson plans, letters of recommendations, and teacher observation report from your supervisor. Now, personally, I have been hired without showing my teacher portfolio, but it's great to have a teacher portfolio in case they ask for it. Sometimes an employer may have a one copy of your resume and when you get to the interview, you see that there are many people there ready to interview you. Well, if you are prepared and you have five copies, then you can give each person a printed hard copy of your skills and professional experience. Now, speaking of your skills and professional experiences, please make sure that you edit your resume and align it to the skills that they, the employer, is looking for. There is no one size fits all resume at all because a special education teacher resume is not going to look the same as a software engineer resume. Even if you have experience doing both, you need to create two different resumes for each job position because they require different skills and qualifications. So it's best to adjust your resume based on the job posting and tailor your resume to the specific skills and professional experience for the job. This will definitely help you stand out as a great person to work for the company. The second thing you need to do before your interview is pick out a professional outfit the night before. It's very important that you wear less jewelry, a solid color shirt, a solid color blazer, a knee length skirt, or a simple solid color business suit. Close toe dark shoes and bring a nice solid color bag to hold your resume folder. Do not wear necklaces, your neck should be clear, do not have bright colorful patterns on your shirt like this, no, no, no. And do not have open toe shoes. Less is more because the interviewer will be less distracted and be more attentive to what you are saying. What I have on is a beautiful shirt, I would say, but it's not a professional interview shirt. And we want to make a great first impression. Some companies may like this shirt, but majority will not. And we're going to play it professionally safe and wear monotone solid colors like light pink, white, black, or tan. I say light pink because I have worn light pink at many teacher interviews and I have been hired. I was hired for all the positions because I wore a stud earring like this one right here. I had my light pink shirt, a black blazer, a black knee length skirt, and black closed toed shoes. I also had my resume in my folder and I had multiple copies for each person who was employed, who was interviewed. So make sure you try on the outfit so you can see if it looks professional and check to see if you need to iron or steam any wrinkles on the clothes. The third thing you need to do before your interview is make sure you bring a pen and paper and place that inside of your bag. Your, it could be your suitcase, a briefcase, not a suitcase, a briefcase, or a tote bag in case you would like to take notes during your interview or have questions written on the paper already. By taking notes during the interview, you display an interest in the specifics of your job and the employer gives you bonus points for that. They really love when you are interested and you're taking notes. The fourth thing that you need to do before you have your interview is you need to research your company. It is super, super important. Super important that you research the company or research the school if you're a teacher before the interview. Research the job position and the company to see if this is an amazing place for you to work, or maybe it's not a great place for you to work. This may be your future employer for the next five, 10 years. So you want it to be a work culture that you enjoy. 
and the interviewer may also ask you why you want to work for this company. So it's important to provide reliable information from the company website to show that you actually have done your research and you're interested in this position. Fifth thing you need to do before you have your job interview is practice answering questions at home. Please research common interview questions for the job position and practice answering them aloud. Hear how you sound, practice with yourself in front of the mirror. You can even practice while you're driving on the road, making sure you're being a very uh, safe driver and practice on the road. Or you can practice with a friend or a family member. When you practice answering questions, be confident in how you answer questions. Also, relate your answers to the school's mission or the company's mission and think of real experiences to show the skills that your employer wants that meets the job description position. So in order to show confidence, you need to sit up straight, keep eye contact with everyone in the room, smile, have a positive attitude, and not say um a lot. If you have the tendency to say um very frequently, just respond by taking a deep breath, saying to the interviewer, that was a great question, thank you for asking, and then proceed to answer the question. In the time that you said that was a great question, you should have thought of your answer. And if you did not, that's why you need to practice at home so that you can think on the spot and not get flustered with the words. Some interviewers may not ask, what do you know about the company? So it's important that you take the initiative. You know, show your knowledge about the company, about the job position. Because when you do that, they really take notes and they say, wow, this person is really interested in our company. I think they would be a great person to work at a company, right? Yes. We're almost done, y'all. Number six. <laughs> the sixth thing you need to do before your interview is ask questions at the end of the interview. So important. When they finish interviewing you and asking you all the questions and they say, thank you, that's all our questions. Do you have any questions for us? You need to say, yes, I do. I actually do have questions. Because you are interviewing the company just as much as they are interviewing you. This, again, may be your future employer. So you want to make sure that it is a great work culture that you enjoy. So ask questions specific to the job positions, ask questions about the work culture, and even personal questions like, what do you enjoy most about working at this company? It's really a great positive sign for an employer for them to hear that you have questions, that you can prepare with questions. You can write questions on a piece of paper. You can write questions on a piece of paper, or you can just have them in your head. It's all, it's amazing if you, know them in your head and you don't read off a paper because they see oh wow they she had it right off the bat he had it right off the bat they did not need to look at a paper but if you need to look at a paper that's okay but this is where it comes in handy where you practice 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 reading and memorizing these questions so that on the day of the interview you can ask the questions without having to look on the paper <laughs> the seventh thing and last thing that you need to do before an interview is you need to arrive 20 minutes early traffic and parking is a pain y'all I know you know this, so you do not want to rush and leave something important at home. You also don't want to get into an accident or get stopped by the police for speeding. It's just best to leave your home early, arrive early so you can just spend the extra time in the parking lot, sitting, relaxing in your car, mentally preparing yourself for the interview, taking deep breaths, going over your job descriptions, your portfolio, and also remembering the names of the employer. Like, who am I about to interview? Oh, I can't remember their name. Let me check the emails to see what their names were or check down what I wrote down, right? You wanna make sure that you are confident and you are well prepared. Employers like it when you know their names, so it will be a plus if you arrive early and you know their names by first or last name basis, by first and last name basis. So that's it, everyone. Those are my seven tips. As you see, the key theme to preparing for your interview is planning ahead. Planning ahead will reduce anxiety and help you focus all your mental, mental energy on securing the job. If you follow all these tips, I promise that you will feel more at ease, more confident in yourself, and more excited for the interview, possibly getting that job that you really, really want. <laughs> so I hope you have a successful interview. I pray and hope that you do get this job. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. I will see you soon on the next video. Bye.